You are tuned to FM Gold Channel of All India Radio Delhi. IPL is over. Cricket lovers, journalists and cricketers have seen a huge shift from the classic game of cricket that it sometimes used to be. Senior sports journalist G Raja Raman caught up with international cricketer of yesteryear's Mr Hari Gidwani and here we present this conversation to you Lamentations of a Gentleman's Game over to G Raja Raman. Well, Hari, thank you so much for joining us. Um, it's going to be lovely talking cricket uh, with someone like you. Lots of first-class cricket behind you, more than 20 years. Went up to rest of India in the Irani Trophy. What kind of changes you see cricket has seen now? See, cricket that was played during my time was much on the slower side, not like what aggressive cricket that you play nowadays. Cricketers like Bishan, leading Delhi team, would uh, have a lot of camaraderie among the players. and they were easily approachable and uh, cricket what i see today is become so fast and so aggressive that players even uh, are not able to approach their own players at time because of lack of time probably and a uh, lot of activities they have to perform they are unable to interact with each other so too much too much pressure now too much of pressure now now in the 2020 cricket that you see is there's a pressure right from the first ball itself And, and all the travel over well. means uh, one you of the dressing room is under pressure and all the travel as well i mean these guys are one day in hyderabad the next day in jaipur and the third day in calcutta cricket was a little more laid back in your time wasn't it yeah cricket was light slight on the slower side we had less number of matches you know the travel was less we could concentrate on our rest part also and uh, concentrate on the game and was it any less competitive then no, i don't believe was, that no it was very competitive during our time we had some great players i had the opportunity of playing with some great players like gavaskar kapil dev vengsarkar so we, you got you were captain once by bishan singh bedi well. yes yes bishan was my captain since uh, till such time i played for delhi for 5 6 years before i shifted to bihar you see. played north zone and uh, east zone zone and uh, yes i did play for north zone and east zone are you when you when you sit down and watch today's cricket and you look at the modern bat do you miss the smell of linseed oil sometimes yes you are very right absolutely and during our time we used to take care of our bats i don't think so these things are happening these days willows are already you know nurtured in such a way that you can just take out the bat and just uh, take it on the field and just start playing and during our time we used to uh, put linseed oil keep it for some time and then just nurture the bat and then just take it to a practice session and see if the ball was getting a sweet hit you know you get that noise you get a sweet noise from the bat but now even bat making technology seems to have changed so much uh, the kind of technology that goes into the making of the bat the quality of the willow perhaps has changed Yeah, they have got some kind of a small, thin kind of a film on the bats. These sometimes this had during my time also, but at the later part of my career, you had that small, thin poly, what you call it. I don't exactly know the name of that thing that you put it on the bat, and that gives a lot of protection to the bat. Yes. Do you sometimes wake up in the morning and and say, "Hey, I feel like having a hit now." There's so much cricket around me. Why why can't I pick up the bat and go out and play? Do you have you ever thought? sometimes yeah i sometimes do i did the, have the opportunity of playing some veteran games also and i did perform in one of the veteran games delhi versus haryana got 55 odd runs and got yashpal sharma's wicket also but the motivation is not there anymore you but yes you feel like picking up a bat and remembering your old days and if you could play the same cover drive off the back foot you know uh, ari tonight um, when you talk of ipl cricket happening 50000 people Uh, cramming up a, a domestic match it, it's actually a domestic game i see a kind of revival in in domestic cricket not because there are foreign players but because some of the stars are playing themselves but when i first moved to delhi i was constantly being told of a romantic match between st stephens and hindu colleges in delhi i believe it was a blue ribbon game in delhi in, in the calendar used to be a 3 day game thousands of people used to come and watch hindu and saint stephens and you have been a part of some of those games uh, can you just take us through what it was to be playing intercollegiate cricket i tell you one of my greatest moments that i cherish is being with hindu college you know that was my you know background from where i really picked up my cricket you know real cricket i'm talking about even though i did score runs playing for school also but uh, hindu college was one place that i really picked up cricket you know and hindu stephens tie used to be something they used to call it battle of roses they used to call it you know almost like eton and haro or lancashire and yorkshire something like or that or oxford and cambridge yes must be something like that and used to have 
thousands of people you know climbing the trees and watching the match you know and you know uh, just enjoying the game and in the ranji trophy game we used to hardly used to get a crowd of something like 5000 in the inter college finals we used to get a crowd of something like 25 30000 a small uh, university ground i'm sorry to tell you that i'm unable to follow when it is played when it has been played when was the tie over i don't even get to know about it now and it is so unfortunate that university cricket during my days was such a fabulous uh, you know uh, game of cricket at the university level that there were some great cricketers who were, were born out of that kind of you know format something like gavaskar from visit trophy veng sarkar jayanti lal all from roynton baria all from roynton baria visit trophy and this to be a lovely fixture you know combine universities they used to have against a touring side it was what is to be a lovely fixture did you get to play any of those games um, yes i got two uh, i had the opportunity of playing two games that was one against clive lloyd's team 74 75 at indore i played where anshuman got 100 i got out for 40 odd runs and the next year immediately next year at bangalore we played against uh, sri lanka where uh, brijesh was captaining the uh, indian Brijesh university Brijesh i got 100 there i shot into the reckoning from the 100 that i got at uh, against the sri lanka against the sri lanka in the side but we had some great names of dulip mendes roy dais you know uh, then we david had Hain. david david hain yes tony opatha yeah. tony opatha yeah. dennis shanmugam these were good medium pace of year samaro chandra di silva lex pena besides me getting 100 but there was another lad who was who wonderfully bowled his lex penas and googly balls ashwini, ashwini minna he Where got he, he got five wickets in that game and he bowled some of the beautiful uh, googlies and got uh, some of the uh, sri lankans clean he, he used to bowl very good leg spin dude. very good leg spinner i think um, it was unfortunate he was born during when chandra was around and he couldn't find a place he was a very good wrist spinner he used to rotate his wrist completely while bowling even a leg break and a googly and he had a bounce off the pitch the ball used to take off when his leg break was bowled batsman coming forward edge it and would carry to the slip and gully I do sometimes hurt. I do. Uh, I come from an old school. I I sometimes hurt when I see miss uh, uh, very poor behavior on the field. Does it hurt old timers like you when when you read about cricket uh, and it's not actually cricket? You see, it's terrible, absolutely. Game has seen such a transformation. You know, from people who were passionate, you know, about playing this game have become now more aggressive. Now these are some very bad incidents, bad examples. It's not good at all. and i mean no cricketer would like that does it remind you of uh, raman lamba and rashid patel yeah. or do you think it was the beginning of the loss of innocence of cricket you're right absolutely i was witness to that incident which between raman lamba and uh, rashid patel 91. at jamshedpur this, this was the trophy game between north versus west i was in the jamshed ji patara pavilion watching that match and both of them one had a stump in his hand the other with bat in his hand they almost landed towards third man uh, you know trying to hit each other from the pitch from the pitch but they did not exchange blows uh, they did not exchange they did not hit each other but, but they just do, do trying to it cricket kind of lost its innocence there uh, at least indian cricket You see that particular incident, uh, you know, it was provoked. You know, I thought Raman Lamba was not at fault. You know, what uh, Rashid Patel did was he overstepped four to five yards and bowled him a bouncer, and Raman just uh, walked up to him and told the umpire trying to object. And I think Rashid Patel did utter something, you know, uh, which infuriated uh, uh, Raman no, Lamba, and that's how this incident, you know, uh, started. And also, Hari, when uh, when you talk about cricket and talk about how. cricket in your time let's say in our time because i used to write about cricket that you played was a little bit laid back and you had coaching systems which were very different now we've got laptop coaches people who believe in laptops and um, you, you do you find any difference mark difference in the way the game is played now no i think uh, i i am also in this old school of thought you know i would also like coaches who are simple simple in their approach they understand every cricketer their behaviors their attitudes and then work on them not on the laptops and i hate these laptop business you know even uh, other they, they we uh, uh, heard about shane won saying he doesn't want laptops around he just want to manage he is a man manager he doesn't want to put the players on the laptop and computers and start uh, giving data about their performance he wants to manage his boys on the field just we are, while we are talking about leadership uh, hari uh, let me take you back to your ranji trophy the early years of ranji trophy you played with a certain bishan singh bedi as your captain and we grew up reading about how this one man changed the way delhi and north zone looked at its cricket he kind of instilled some pride and a competitive spirit uh, till that time west zone was probably ruling the roost 
south zone may have been challenging west zone but how important was bishan singh bedi's uh, charismatic leadership in the way north zone changed its outlook to cricket you see bishan had played lot of his cricket in the counties in england and he had that professional approach you know and when when he would come and cap the delhi side he would uh, keep all the boys together make them enjoy it's not only the cricket of the field who will make the people enjoy also his simple mantra was look gentlemen you got to perform on the field what you do out of the field i'm not bothered you have to perform on the field you got to be fit with your uh, eyes wide open and that's the kind of you know confidence he will instill instill in his players and there's some very good cricketers that he's played during during his captaincy madan lal mohinder surender many of them, you can name many of them and his captaincy was fabulous you know he he would take care of his boys when you look around you when you look at first class cricket now do you find that kind of charismatic leaders whether it is in t20 or whether it's in uh, ranji trophy do you find the likes of bishan singh bedi among any of the youngsters no i don't find i don't find much you know charismatic leaders and and uh, hari when uh, when you talk about how cricket has changed and when we lament the loss of some of the innocence some of the charm that the game had do you also believe that a lot of it has to do with the pressure that the onset of television uh, new media has uh, had in the last few years in the last 15 20 years yes media is also to a some extent responsible you know because nowadays even when you reach the ground or you are watching a match on the television see the amount of noise that you are getting around from the spectators when in the older days when you were watching a match a, a good crowd somewhere in england or maybe in india would applaud a boundary be, being hit and then keep quiet suddenly but now you see find the noise all all around you find a noise all, you can call it a noise pollution in a way and uh, media also sometimes you know has uh, played a bad role in blowing out certain things blowing it out of proportions okay you highlight a particular incident that has happened and just leave it at that and leave the authorities to decide so i think media also to some extent need to change a little bit oh we have changed a lot hari i promise you i started life uh, with the typewriter and the telex and the telegram um, none of the young reporters knows what a telegram is now i i can promise you they haven't seen a typewriter in their 25 years or whatever of life people are connected to internet so we have changed a lot um, Can you television. tell me in what way have you changed? You know, how has the media changed? Well, media also no, tries to glamorize things at times. In terms know? of technology, we have yeah. we have advanced yeah. so much. Uh, we we are able to bring the latest news to people, and because there is the there has been an explosion of the media, there is a there is an intense competition among news channels, intense competition among newspapers, and uh, even magazines to try and get out the spiciest story every time. And But do you I, think it is good? In the bargain, just to add, add spice to the story, is it good? Uh, Hari, when you played your cricket, um, it's a very, very fair question. Something that I've been asked constantly, and I'll try and answer it to the best of my ability. When you played your cricket, and I started life as a journalist, television was not there. There was no live telecast. Now people are watching live telecast. So at the end of the day, five thirty, they know what the score is. They know what the what the position in a test match is. and that evening news channels have got cricket experts like you sitting in the studios and analyzing the game the next morning's newspapers got a challenge people already know what the score is people already know why anil kumble took some wickets or did not take any wickets so what does the newspaper then have to do it has got to give something fresh to the reader otherwise nobody is reading plain vanilla match reports anymore so there is a demand for spice and in the process some young reporters who do not know cricket but who know cricket as well end up writing spicy stuff this sells so it's it's like a chicken and egg which comes first does the market make a demand and therefore the newspapers and television channels are fulfilling that demand or because newspapers and television channels are giving spice to the re- uh, readers and viewers and they're just accepting it i think there has been a dumbing down of the media by and large there lots of people do not pay attention to the details they don't they do not know the cricket history they do not know their cricket well enough i'm very sorry to say i'm very sorry to admit as well but, but i think as a media writer you being from old school of thought is it not the duty as a media writer to highlight some uh, traditional uh, things of the game and Absolutely. make aware uh, certain youngsters or maybe the spectators or maybe the readers who are uh, reading these uh, newspapers uh, you put me in a spot when you're saying this yes it's my responsibility and the responsibility of my generation 
but successive um, not not successive but several newspaper owners several channel heads they demand spice from from young reporters and people like me are in a minority when we just talk about line and length when we talk about the classicism of some cricket shots uh, the cover drive as you spoke some time ago about uh, that you saw Dwayne Bravo Bravo hit even in a 2020 scenario there are no takers for that anymore of of plain the Neville Carters of the world perhaps don't have a place in modern journalism fantastic writer in his time but uh, there are no such writers that means you've got reason to lament that means absolutely i mean it's very unfortunate i think you were cr- which way no, is the cricket it, going it in your like, case it is like uh, cricketers of your generation journalists of my generation and my my senior my father was a journalist too uh, we are constantly lamenting how journalism has undergone a, a sea change and there is a churning happening and we can only hope that in our lifetimes both cricket will regain its charm and sports journalism will also find the level playing field and and will go back to being good plain reporting about cricketers who are playing very good cricket people who are playing sport the best that they can but i'll ask you one question here raja sure. now the t20 cricket has become so popular around the world i'll say around the world now can you tell me which way are we heading to is it a threat to the test cricket and one day cricket i will say one day cricket also is it a threat do you look at it as a threat i think there is room for everybody just because instant coffee came filter coffee is not nobody stopped making filter coffee you see now you club one days with the test matches okay but are you going to club 20s also with you're these going to see, you're going to see a different breed of cricketers play 2020 cricket i do not think our established test stars will play 2020 anymore there the demand for hitters the demand for people who can bowl very accurately is going to come and uh, i don't think uh, there are many people who will play test cricket one day internationals and 2020 at the same time so you will have three different teams and i think it's more opportunity for the young players mm-hmm. and uh, we can keep lamenting all this hari and uh, i would rather enjoy my cup of tea now and and say thank you very much for joining us thanks a lot thank you lamentations of a gentleman's game you just heard a dialogue between international cricketer of yesteryears mr hari gidwani and senior sports journalist g rajaraman and lamentations went beyond the game of cricket to the field of sports coverage as well we hope you enjoyed this conversation and welcome your suggestions and comments regarding our programs you can mail us on english sw at gmail.com this broadcast came to you from the fm gold channel of all india radio delhi